Wolves plus 170, Man United plus 140, Man United favourites on the road. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, Wolves, Pickham, pick them. Minus 102, draw no bet. Uh, draw plus 260, Wolves. I mean, I've got this game starting, uh, Brad, you can go first because I've got this game starting 1-1. Because I can't trust the away side, and I don't see Wolves scoring twice very often. But I still don't see Wolves getting beat. No, this is uh, this is probably the match that Wolves had circled on their calendars. And why is that? They they had to have felt at the beginning of the season they deserved that match, didn't get that win. And like you said, trusting United has been absolutely tough on the road. We're at that point again in the season, right, where I think every, every other three weeks um, – the United fans are calling for either um, the Glazers to be to rescind the team or for Ten Hag to be fired, to be let go, because he places the blame on his players rather than uh, rather than on himself. Um, I think Wolves get something out of this match. Um, this is a dreadful, dreadful United team. Uh, we saw it in their league match. We try not to put too much stock in their league match, right? I thought that league match was pretty funny, where they put a pretty strong 11 out, and... They struggled in that game. Sure, they put up a ton of shots, but they struggled to convert. Um, and by struggle to convert, I mean I, I could have they could have scored three, four goals um, with ease, but they couldn't convert. And then they conceded um, backline issues. This is not your an easy uh, an easy win by any means. Whenever you play Wolves, this is a very good Wolves team. I cannot believe that I would put hard earned dollars on Manchester United, especially away from home. Um, just four wins out of ten. Um, uh, away from home so far this season. I passed, but um, I, I just wanted to get to talk about Manchester United for a second, how much, how gross they are right now. Yeah, despite Man United not being very good and not very being consistent, you can't put your money on them. This will be one of Wolves' biggest games of the season for their fans. They just love this type of uh, situation. And I see a Wolves side who are happy with, with the ball. They seem more... Uh, together and yet Man United, Marco here. I see no urgency, and they don't keep clean sheets. So all of a sudden, you go on the road and you can't keep clean sheets. You're going to be in trouble. Yeah, I'm with Wolves here. I think the prices are wrong. Um, yeah, the yeah. mood around Manchester United right now is is grim. Um, they survived that scare on Sunday, but um, the news dominating that fixture basically was the Marcus Rashford saga. The next element of the Marcus Rashford saga. He was um, seen in a nightclub in Belfast um, just a, <laughs> a couple of days before. Twisty my melon, man. It's incredibly, <laughs> incredibly unprofessional. Um, yeah. He's damaging his character. He's damaging his legacy at United right now. And he should really be the, the poster boy of this Manchester United team. It's, it's quite sad to see his demise at the minute. Um, and I feel sorry for Ten Hag, who has to front up and try and uh, you know, talk about these problems and issues in the squad. He's tried his best to kind of rid the team, the club of bad apples, but there's so many there. Um, I would never thought Rashford would be one of them, but it, it feels like he's disrespecting his team, his coach and, and the club right now. So whether he's involved here or not, I, I, I don't know. I'd be surprised. I think he deserves a, a, another week off, basically, or, or punishment, if you like. So I have to be involved, but that's literally none of the reasoning behind it. The, the main reasoning is just the price, really. And I'll try and decipher it very quickly, but there's three points between the two teams in the Premier League table. Had United not beaten Wolves on the opening weekend, when everybody could see they did not deserve to win that match, the two teams would be equal on 30 points if that match ended all square. Uh, if we look at the underlying metrics, um, there is very little to choose between the two teams. I've got United as 0.75 expected points better off than Wolves effectively one point better off, if not the same. So I think it's fair to say that if you excluded the the names Wolves and Man United, if you didn't, you know, take into account the wage bills, the budgets of these two teams, and you just went purely off performances, purely off the eye test, they have to be rated pretty close to each other. Um, and that's kind of based on my tissue prices, which uh, came in at Wolves plus 135 and Manchester United plus 200. Um, and I think both metrics feel, sorry, both prices feel about right to me, really. Um, if Wolves were rated equal to Manchester United, they would be about plus 125. So I've got them about plus 135. So I'm quite happy to have them on side here at home, which is where they do most of their best work, especially against the big boys. 
They love a game under the lights against the big boys. Obviously, they're fresh from that win against West Brom at the weekend. It's their biggest rivals. They've lost just twice in 10 home league games under Gary O'Neill. Both defeats came in their first two games of the season at home. They're unbeaten eight home league games, five wins, three draws. They've beaten Spurs, Chelsea, City at home so far this season. They've held Villa and Newcastle. They gave Liverpool all kinds of problems before Liverpool battled back in the second half. And since the match day 15, only Liverpool have amassed more points than Wolves in the Premier League, which is quite surprising. And they've lost just four times in the last 16 Premier League matches across all venues. So you you have that in terms of a, a pro Wolves aspect. And then you look at United. If you exclude the bottom four, United have lost five of seven away league games. They've picked up just one point from the last four on the road, scoring just once. They've only once managed to win by two goals or more all season. And their goal difference is minus five, which is often quite revealing, quite telling, really. They are the only side in the top half with the minus goal difference. And they scored the same number of goals as Luton. So I've got them 16th in expected points away from home. And their XG average away from home is minus 0.58. So effectively, they're conceding 0.6 expected goals more than their opposition on a per game basis when playing away, which is just terrible for a team of aspirations for a top six, top four or even more. Really, it's, it's quite embarrassing. So they're really easily opposed to me. So I'm happy to bat Wolves, pick them, draw no bet, take your pick, basically. Same bets, uh, but pro Wolves. I wouldn't put anyone off back in the plus 170. Yeah, I just can't go anywhere near Man United games, especially when they're on the road, uh, because I think they get priced up because of their name. Um, just got to leave that well alone. OK, let's have a little look at the official picks. OK, Wolves. Draw no bet. Minus 102.